my little honeybees. Today we're going to be doing the top 11 of 2011 my jewelry because um, it was highly requested so I figured I'd do this one first for you guys. I'm also going to do my top 11 fragrances but I'm not so sure if I'll be getting to skincare and purses but I will do a separate video. It just won't be the top 11 of 2011 since we're already like at the end of January already. Okay so I'm just going to start off with the stuff I'm wearing that's part of my favorites. The first one I'm going to show you is my Pandora bracelet. And I just recently started getting Pandora charms. So I have six, one, two, three, four, five, and a spacer. And I showed you this before, but I just wanted to show you real quick the little charms I have. And this is this, the all-around silver one. And then I have silver and 14 karat gold. All of the pieces have a little bit of gold in them. So just starting off my bracelet, I really love it. I don't wear it too often just because I'm scared to hurt it <laughs> since it's not full and it doesn't really lay flat on my wrist. It jiggles around. So I don't wear it all the time, but it is one of my favorites. Uh, my second favorite is this ring that I got at Forever 21. And I believe it was only like $1.80. And I got it probably mid-year. And it's just a cute little bow ring. And I really just love bow accent pieces, so... I do have two other bow rings that I wear too, but this one is my favorite because it's simple and it goes with a lot. Then the other piece, this is by Glitter U2 Heather. She does have an Etsy account, so I will link that below for you guys. I have it in black and I also have it in this really pretty turquoise. And this is in the 14, or I don't know if it's 14 karat, but it's the gold version of the cross. And how you do it is it's just like a wrap around with two leather um, straps. You just wrap it around and there's a button at the end that you tie. And it just wraps around your wrist. This is the black one that I have on today. And they're really comfortable. You barely can feel them on your wrist. I've told you guys about these before. But the leather is really soft. The cross has a curve to it so it just really fits on your wrist really nice. And it's, it's good quality, but it's not heavy, and I really like that. Okay. Since we're on bracelets, I'll show you this one. This is my rose gold, big stretchy kind of, I always say it kind of reminds me of like a gladiator kind of style bracelet. I'll put it on my wrist so you can see it. I got this at a boutique here in Arizona, but I have seen similar ones at Forever 21. And I just love that it's nice and big, so it looks sort of like you have multiple bracelets on. And I really was in a rose gold kick this year, and so it just was a nice accent piece to my other jewelry. Then, as you guys already know, feather earrings were really in this year. So, I have a few feather earrings here to show you. These I have a few others, but these were the ones I wore the most. And I first have these really pretty black ones with silver accents. And for obvious reasons, I wore these a lot because they go with much more. And I got these at Aldo. And then I also have these really pretty deep purple ones. Oops. And these are from Forever 21. And I saw a pink version of these recently at Forever 21. I don't have them, but you might be able to find these still. I'm not so sure about the Aldo ones. But they look really pretty when your hair is down, especially. And I have two watches that I want to share with you. The first one is my Phosphor watch, and I did just get this for Christmas. So I guess it's sort of cheating, <laughs> but um, it still was one of my favorite jewelry pieces from 2011. And it's my Phosphor watch, and it's the blingy one. This one has the pink band, but it also comes in black, white. I'm not sure. There might be one or two other colors, but those are the two I remember. And the time is even bling, and the time is in pink bling, while the rest of it is like a regular white bling. Super pretty. Then my other favorite watch is my Michael Kors Rose Gold um, Blair watch. And I got this for my birthday from my mom. And it's really pretty. That's what it looks like. It has crystals all around the face of it. And it has um, a place where you can do a timer with seconds and minutes. 
So that's helpful when you're doing blood pressure in the medical field. So this is a nice, classy, pretty watch that it's functional as well. And like I said, I was super into rose gold, so that was a nice accent piece for this year. From Forever 21. The reason I'm including these is I used, I wore these a lot um, in the fall, winter, and I think a little bit in the summer. I forget when I got these. But they're just stud. I like big studs like these lately more than dangling earrings. And they kind of have a rose gold sort of tone, but you can definitely pair these with a regular gold too because I think that's what they're supposed to be, but they look really good with rose gold also. And they're black, so I go towards them because they're easy to pair with everything. And I just think they look more expensive than they are because I think they were around 3 or $4 at Forever 21. And let's see, I'm going to group these in to one category, but then I have two other pieces also. And these are all from HRH Collection, Alex. I really feel that her jewelry is super great quality. Um, it's not the cheapest, but because of the quality, I feel like it's worth it to go and look at her pieces. Um, her pieces sell out really quickly too, but if you check on her website, if it is sold out, you can email her and she will do her best to get that to you as fast as possible. She is great at returning mail. Um, so the reason I'm grouping these is they're both called the cuff necklace. This one is the original gold cuff and it has two leather straps on each side that you tie around your neck and that's what it looks like. I've worn this on a few outfit of the days for you guys, so you've probably seen it before. Um, two really thick, pretty chains. This one's more of like a brushed gold, and this one has some like shimmer groove detail. It's really pretty, nice contrast. So that's the first one, and they all come in these little silk bags. And then the other one is the silver cuff necklace, and it also has the leather straps on either side. This one kind of is like industrial to me because th these look like industrial kind of metal and this is more of like the brushed, um, it's like a brushed silver just like the other necklace has that kind of smooth chain. And this one I've actually worn a little bit more than the gold one because I'm just more into silver than gold but they're both gorgeous pieces. And the second to last piece is also from HRH Collection, and this is the first ever necklace I got from her. I forget the name of this. It's something Lux necklace. I'll just put it right here so you guys know. But it's a really beautiful long chain. And it's that long. So you can wear it like this, just like a long chain. Or I usually wrap it around twice so you have that layered effect. So just like this and wear it like that. So that looks really pretty layered. And this, these links have that kind of textured look as well. And it shines in the light really pretty. It's definitely unique, the chains here. Um, it's not like a regular kind of link chain that you'll find in the store. It has a nice claw clasp that's very sturdy. And so this is my first piece from her. I love it. Worn it a good deal in the spring, summer, not really in the winter. I've been wearing the, um, what's it called? The cuff necklaces more. And then one, this is the last piece for 2011 of my top 11. And this is from HRH Collection as well. Shown you this a good deal of time. This is the Bijou Bijou bracelet. And it has that great textured kind of link chain, and it has it does shine as well, kind of in the light. And then it has this really pretty stone in the middle. It really shines like crazy in the light. People always ask me about it. And it wraps around twice, like that, and then has a claw clasp just like the necklace I just showed you that you just hook up, and it looks like that. And it's a really great layering piece, easily matches a good deal of my things, like I could really wear it today with the Pandora bracelet even. It looks good with all different outfits. Okay, so that's my last piece of jewelry to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed my 2011 jewelry favorites. It was really hard to pick just 11 because I am a jewelry girl. I love my jewelry and it definitely was hard to pick. But I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye!